Kamar, he's staying back to get a little bit of treatment on his, uh, on his, I assume his ankle. So he won't be available tonight, but nothing serious. I think he's just getting a little treatment. Uh, have Coach start with the opening statement, and then uh, we'll take any questions you have. It looks like there's a mic to pass around. So, Coach? Uh, yeah, I think um, you know, that's a really, really good basketball team. Uh, and they play well here at home. Um, and, you know, I thought we had moments where we played really well. And you, know, you look up and it's a two, three possession game uh, there at the end. And we got we got a chance. I thought we had opportunities, um, you know, to to make a make a, a, a little bit more of a run there at the end. Uh, and the ball just didn't didn't go in. And, and so, um, you know, give them credit. I thought they impacted us on the glass uh, in the first half, especially they had eight offensive rebounds at halftime. And, and I thought the guys off the bench, uh, O'Mara and, and uh, Marshall, uh, did a really good job having an impact on the game. And so, um, but what I told these guys in the locker room, 79 points uh, against teams in this league is enough points to win. Uh, we got to we got to guard people, and we didn't do a very good job. We missed some assignments uh, on the defensive end of the floor. Uh, giving up 86 points is is just too much. Um, and teams can score it. We got we got to defend better. Um, so, Coach uh, Villanova and Xavier back to back is a pretty tough back to back. Um, just from your perspective, how tough is this league right now? I know it's always tough, but how have you experienced? This uh, this first go around, yeah, it's, it's, it's as good as any league in the country. I mean, we're, we're looking up, and uh, Seton Hall comes to our place. You know, coming out, we got we've got to prepare for that, and, and they're really good. And, and so uh, it's every night. You know, it's every night. That's what it's what you come here for. Uh, I think it's one of the best basketball leagues, if not the best, uh, in the nation. Uh, and then that's what we want to be a part of, and and we're going to compete like crazy. The value you alluded to it. What? What specifically did you think were you know, uh, Butler's issues on uh, on defense? Because like really, for right the last month, for the most part, uh, Butler has has been pretty effective defending. Yeah, and you know I think um, you know Chris does a great job. You know, and they've got a talented roster of players, uh, and they took their time. Yeah, you know, I think the, you know throwing it into the post uh, uh, had an impact, and then transition. You know, they, the one three one affected us. You know, uh, I've got to do a better job of, of giving us a better plan against that because I thought our man to man, we had a good flow. We got to the basket, we got to the rim, we got good shots. Uh, the zone stymied us, uh, and then that ended up in long shot, long rebound, and and they've got 19 points on the fast break. Uh, and so I thought that was a big part of it. We were in transition a ton uh, when they went zone. What did your team take away from tonight's game? What do you feel you're going to be using from this game in your next? Well, I think these these uh, our guys have established that this team's going to fight. You know, you're not getting rid of us. We're going to fight all the way until the clock hits zeros. And so now we've got to execute better on the defensive end of the floor. Uh, I think we've proven. You know, we can score the ball. We've got good shooters. We've got guys that can make plays. Um, and so you know, we just got to make sure our focus is on you know, on the right end. Keelan, that second half of the second half, it it looked like you'd committed to going to the rim. Mm -hmm. Was that something that became apparent that you needed to do late tonight? Uh, yeah, Coach talked to me. He told me just just attack. He told our whole team to attack because they were in, uh, in the bonus. And we can get easy scores just uh, attacking the rim. And I think that's what I did going in the second half. I mean, shots weren't falling. Coach, through three games, the thriller against Georgetown, crazy day against Novet Hinkle, you come back from down 14 tonight. What have you learned from your team that was picked eighth in this mm -hmm. conference preseason? Uh, we got a long way to go. You know, we, we talked about that uh, amongst uh, each other as a after the Villanova game, uh, and we we're well aware of that. But I, I love the fight. You know, I think um, you know we battle. Uh, we battle. We we we're, we got some. We got a level of toughness to us and a level of grit to us that uh, that I appreciate. Our staff appreciates, uh, and I think you know the whole Butler community appreciates. Um, execution is our you know our next step. Um, especially defensively, with scouting reports and personnel and, and um, our assignments on that end of the court. Uh, you, you alluded to a little bit, Keelan, but for either one of you, did you think you guys uh, at, at sometimes fell in love too much with the, with the three-point shot? Um, you were, you know, obviously, you were lights out Saturday, but were you know, not quite so accurate tonight. 
Yeah, I thought so. Uh, you know, especially uh, like I said, when we were man, when they when they were in man to man, I thought we got really good opportunities, uh, driving the ball and then driving and kicking. I, I thought the zone had a, had an effect on us. Uh, it took us out of the paint. Uh, when you look up, and you know, one of the best things they do is get to the foul line and they, they shoot 37 free throws. Uh, we shoot eight. They, they're plus you know 18 at the line in a seven point game, and so um, you know. I think the zone had an impact on that. At the end there, we figured out some ways to attack the zone and still get into the paint. Anything else? Yep. One more. One more. Thank you. Um, Nate might not have had a uh, big amount of scoring tonight, but he had a big impact on the game. Uh, could we get some thoughts on that? Yeah, no, I thought he was great on the glass. He battled, you know, uh, like I said, we wanted to keep him off the offensive glass. Didn't do a great job in the first half. Second half, he had a lot to do with them. They only got four. Uh, Nate was a big part of that. And then he went. Uh, we missed we missed a few shots, and he went and got us some extras. And so, love the development and his progress. Uh, and I think, you know, he's he's a really good player. And we got every everybody in that locker room believes in him uh, when he's in there that he can do the job. Keelan, just through three Big East games, yourself and Kamar scoring the ball. What about you two together is so compatible on offense, in your opinion? I mean, we can attack whenever we want. And if you know the defense collapse, we got good players all around us. But our main our main point is just, Coach, Coach always says, just attack the rim, get to the back, get easy, it, hit singles. So just getting easy ones. And I think we've been doing that the past few games. And we know what, what defenses are, are looking at. Scout, we're on scout reports, number one and two on scout reports. So uh, it's got to be aware of that and just uh, make smart decisions. You know, shot like tonight, shots just wasn't, they weren't falling. I mean, it happens. But you just got to get ready for the next game. And just finally, being a senior, explain how tough is this league on the road as opposed to playing at Hankel in front of your crowd? Uh, it's very tough. You got to stay poised. You know, the crowd's going to get in the moment, and uh, you know, teams are going to make runs. They're going to make shots. But just like we just do, like we played at Georgetown, just stay poised and just you know, stay within ourselves. Anything else? All right. Thanks, everybody. Have a good night. Thank you.